All right, guys, about quarter to six in the morning, we're getting ready to roll out here for the day. Kind of got a little bit of a light day, a little bit of oddball stuff going on. Figured this would be a good opportunity to do the day in the life video again. So let's do it. All right, so the family's actually on vacation this week. Usually I'd tell them bye and have a good day and all that good stuff, but uh, nobody's home to tell bye. It's just me and the dog, so we'll have to do that stuff this morning. Uh, next thing, usually come up here to my YouTube world, and man, oh man, it is a, it is a mess, but the first choice we got to do is grab the camera gear we're going to use for today, which you guys are watching a GoPro 8 with a media mod. That's kind of my go-to. I did get a GoPro 9 and the media mod i filmed one video with it i really really just was not happy with it so haven't been using that much got a couple of the old uh gopro sevens that's a gopro eight that's been smashed that uh used for random stuff i usually try to travel as light as i can just because uh, we're always on the move but we do need the drone for a possible shot today so we're going to take that along with us and uh Head down, probably grab some breakfast, and uh, meet up with Matt, and get a plan for the day, and go from there. So, let's hit the ground running. Uh, probably ought to feed the dog before I leave. She'd appreciate that. There you go, Maggie. Come on. There you go. Breakfast is served, girl. She's hiding right around the corner over there. Now we're off. We had a kind of a dry spell, but it's been uh, been raining the last couple of days. Been a little bit limited to what we can do, but uh, we'll meet with Matt and uh, get a plan here for the day. All right, we are rolling into the lot. I know it's dark and you guys probably can't see me, but uh, you know how convenient it is to have a gas station in your parking lot that is very very handy from time to time but uh go inside here real quick uh get some breakfast and uh catch up with matt see what's all on did that see what all is on the agenda for the day and then hopefully the sun will be up and we'll hit the ground running do you have a plan for today I do have a plan for today. I'm glad one of us does. I'm wait, that's breakfast burrito. That's my <laughs> plan for today. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my sandwich. And then I guess we'll go attempt to do something. Is that hot? A little bit. You <laughs> thought that, did you? Mmm. <laughs> a little warm. Man, I missed it on video, but I nailed that first time. Nailed it. With me going like nailed this? It. What are you nailed talking it. about? You were a foot off if I hadn't nailed been it. saying, go Nailed right. it. Nailed it. Whatever. All right, so uh, after breakfast, we finally got ourselves a plan this morning. Um, we got two different ICF projects coming up. One of them is a small uh, slab foundation. So we're going to hook the trailer up, and we need to head on up the road and pick up some block off another job. I'm going to hop in the van. I got to go uh, get a secondary vehicle because I got to leave Matt alone for a little bit. But I'm going to give you guys... I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour and a little bit of a sneak peek of something coming up because it's, uh, it's pretty cool. So, in the ICF brace world, there's kind of three major kinds of braces. These here are giraffe braces, and you guys have not seen these used on any of my jobs because there's a lot of pieces, a lot of parts, and they're a little bit aggravating and a little bit of a pain in the butt to put up. I may set one of those up one of those days so just so you guys can see them. But those are probably going to get sold. I uh, I don't know. They're nice braces, but uh, there's just a lot of pieces and parts to keep track of. These here are the model braces. You guys have seen these on jobs a lot. Um, a lot of these braces are a little bit heavy. They're a little bit hard on fingers, but uh, they've been good braces. Poured hundreds of pours with those. Not had any issues with them. Uh, been pretty pleased with them from what I understand they don't make these braces no more but something I've been wanting to try forever and I'm gonna get the opportunity to do it is check this out plum wall and plum wall even went through the trouble look at that they got the logo there in the end of it and uh, I've been eyeballing these braces for probably 10 or 15 years 
and uh, we're finally going to get the chance to uh, use them and try them out thanks to plum wall they kind of sent these to us to uh, demo so pretty excited about that they kind of combine those two That's braces scary. That's scary what you yeah, you got yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> no, don't be scratching the paint on my new plumb wall. But they kind of combine the adjustability of the draft brace, but they also have the all-in-one with the mono brace. But the cool part is how they're adjusted. You actually use a, a drill. You can adjust them from the top. It it'll almost eliminate a whole person in some communication on the job. So uh, pretty excited pretty excited about trying those out actually that's a lie i'm really excited about trying those out hey did you see my new braces i saw your new braces you excited i'm very excited now i won't have to i'll, I'll say it differently let me let me start over <laughs> i'm very excited about your braces and now we cannot have to deal with you yelling i need to turn it this way i need to turn it that way well it's because you guys don't know left <laughs> from right and in from out <laughs> no, it's one of those, man, when it's poor day, it's go day, and you're just going for it, and then you're like, oh, it's the wrong way. <laughs> well, now, now it'll be my own fault. Now it's going to be, now it's going to be, hey, man, my battery's dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, Matt's going to load up rebar. I'm going to hop in the van, go get uh, the other truck, then we'll load up ICF and head to town. All right. Never easy, the poor old van's got a dead battery. Always something. Matt to the rescue. I hope your jump pack has jumper juice. Well, J the jump pack will have jumper juice if you charge it. <laughs> jumper juice, is that a thing? <laughs> That's what I said. Power. It may have some power. Ah, shoot. <laughs> Batteries on the other side. I'll hold it. Hey, it must have juice. You ready? Here we go. Oh, yeah. Hey. We're off to the races now. back we are off to play musical vehicles all right since we're close to the house here i'm going to run down the shop real quick i need to drop off some parts for captain Kleeman later he's going to be working this afternoon we may hopefully a little bit of luck we'll jump in and give him a hand and I got some uh, corner protectors for the uh, ICF that I picked up a couple weeks ago for whenever we haul ICF. And guess what? We're hauling ICF today, so uh, we'll give that a try real quick. So let's uh, take these in the shop. So Captain will have them later. <laughs> I'll let him possibly explain what these are for later if he wants to poor shop's a mess that's on captain's list of things to clean up put those right there he should be able to find them where's those blue things at oh there they are way back in there conveniently placed where we can get to them let's take two of those and uh see what they do so hopefully it'll make hauling out the ICF a little bit uh, a little bit easier that's kind of my kind of my thought process so all right so now let's go switch vehicles all right vehicle swap time gonna trade the old minivan for the old green truck make sure we grab these so we don't forget them close that door Close that door. Throw these in the back. I'm gonna have to clean this truck out. I don't drive this truck a whole lot anymore. Handy to have around when you need it though. Let's see if this girl fires up this morning. Oh yeah. 
Throw the seatbelt on and uh, off we go. Well guys, it started raining again. That's never good. But before we go, me and Matt, we're gonna swing in past the warehouse right here. Real quick, a few things we need to grab that I just thought about. One being the trusty old rebar cutter. That thing, it's hard to tell how much rebar that thing's got. It was wore out 10 years ago and we keep using it. So I guess we'll keep using it until it disappears and breaks. Gonna grab the footer float because we gotta pour some footers down there. And uh, I don't know, is there anything else we need? By the time you guys comment, tell you what I forgot. This video will be long gone, but uh, that's the two major things I think we need. So get those. That's our new one handed. Got it. So I got it. Let's go catch up with Matt and help him get loaded. Hand float, foam gun, saw. It's three things. Three things you guys forgot. Now I think we're good. Rain, rain, go away, please. All right, rolling into the job here where all the ICF got delivered. This job here is only about a quarter mile from the office, which is going to be super convenient to have one uh, this close. This is actually a pretty good size, uh, pretty good size little ICF job. This is where we will try out the uh, try out the new uh, plumb wall braces. For the first time, it's like Matt's already got everything loaded up. He's waiting on me. That's not good. Uh, bad news only brought two. Uh, Thought you're gonna stack it tall and wide and handsome. Well, I can scooch everything over and get one more row. Well, yeah. Do that. That's that's a very efficient. That's stay a very very inefficient stacking job there, Mister. Well, I assumed you had Mr. enough corner protection. I do, but if I bring more than what you need, <laughs> Mister Millennial. Did you show them our fancy new forms? I'll have to stay tuned to see those, but those are uh, paper top forms. They are, they are. Isn't that fancy? It's been a while since we used those. All right, strap down, ready to roll with your fancy new blue things. Meet you, nope. meet you at the job site. We are off. We are off to the races. In case you guys are wondering, this job site's not uh, too far off. It's in uh, Tell City, which is about 25, 30 minutes from the office, which is where we were just at. So. We are, uh, we're hammered down, heading that way. We get there, we'll have to, have to get everything laid off. This is gonna be a little bit of a different uh, project and foundation, and I'll explain more about that when we get there. So, they do. Forgot to ask you, did you get your exhaust fixed? I forgot to ask you, why did we stop? Why did we stop? Lots of reasons. Would you like to explain? I needed to ask you. You got <laughs> no, your exhaust I fixed. <laughs> I forgot the branch for the job. <laughs> so he's coming to save the day. So my wife, who is already headed this direction, oh yeah, already headed I this direction. I caught before she left the house to bring me our prints. So now we got to put her on payroll for running parts. Nope. Or running prints. Free labor. Free labor. <laughs> on her way, not out of her way. You millennials, you're so organized. Yeah, I actually am pretty organized. I just forgot the bag that had all the organization in it. <laughs> <laughs> there comes Matt's wife to save the day, bring his computer, his lifeline to the world. All right, back on the road we go. All right, guys, we are rolling into the job site. I don't know if you guys can read the sign right there, but this one is actually far. Perry County chapter of Habitat for Humanity. We got one little bitty small rain shower right there 
right over top of us. So uh, I guess we're gonna wait this one out for a few minutes. All right, everybody, you can see DP over there in the Mini. We uh, started to lay this thing out, but you see all this vegetation here. It's just too much vegetation for us to feel comfortable with the lines that we need to paint on the ground. So he's taking the blade and he's gonna push it off, create us a nice clean area. We're gonna drive four corner stakes, get this thing marked off, start digging. Stay tuned for more. Do either one of you two, either one of you two have any idea what we're doing? I've not signed a waiver. <laughs> all right so we gotta lay this house off and this pink string says property line i don't know if you can't really see the string on camera and we gotta be what 15 20 30 40 feet off the front line off this line five feet six feet six feet we have to be five feet we're gonna go six feet it's thought of, you didn't sign the waiver it's one of those numbers, <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those numbers somewhere between uh six and a half feet six and a half feet yeah. all right so six six um Houses? yeah well from this lot line measuring I device i have a bigger one if you want a bigger measure i don't need a big one i only need to go six and a half feet they just had them close together didn't they yeah they did all right six foot well six foot six most of them got sand on basement too. right there I saw that. I saw that. let me a in the ground right there we're gonna give you a little orange right. dot first all right and now we need to go uh what was it 51 feet blue one white yeah. top Six foot six and 51 feet. And I really can't tell if I'm... You better get this right or building and zoning will be all over us later. Yeah. Let me, uh, hold on. Tell me how close I am. You're a few inches off. All right, right there. I was an inch off over there, just for safe measure. Is that right? There we go. Driver. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds rock. pretty solid. <laughs> Never fails. Only rock on the whole lot. There we go. Should've We're sharpened. not gonna go real deep because we might want to cross dimension this one, right? You should have sharpened the end. Yeah. Alright, so that front stakes are all set up in the street. These two stakes are all set up in the property line. So uh we just need to square this booger up now. All right, we got her all laid off, stringed off, all of our offsets made. Are you going to uh, tell us what's going on here, sir? Yeah, I'm going to tell you what's going on here, sir. Uh, this here is a Habitat for Humanity house, Perry County, Indiana. Uh, this will be a slab house. We're going to be using New Dora ICF forms for now, our foundation. Are you, uh, are you familiar with New Dora at all? Uh, never heard of them before now. I'm, I'm a little bit familiar with New Dora. In a <laughs> previous life, I uh, worked with a individual also known as dirt perfect and we built icf houses <laughs> so we, wasn't for sure where you were going with that I, that conversation could have went a lot of different ways it could have been. this is a family show i've been told it so, <laughs> so no we're, we're excited about it we want to keep uh the slab uh insulated so now that you no longer work with dirt perfect you are the director oh i'm the i'm the exact <laughs> what your job is <laughs> i'm happy in life <laughs> that's what i am i'm stress-free now that i don't work with dirt perfect no, next, I, next two of us <laughs> I, I'm, I'm the executive director at perry county indiana habitat for humanity that's one of my jobs i'm also a pastor at branchville united methodist church so so the way this lays off this will hopefully be what one of three this will be one of three uh houses on uh this this piece of property that we recently acquired yeah got a lot of room for two more there laid off and all of our setbacks are good so all right well with your permission if everything's signed off and looks good we're gonna start digging footers it looks beautiful we got to figure out elevation yet we do and then we're ready to go that's game time i'm guessing this is gonna be our lowest point boy you're a smart one aren't you man behind the scenes would be jealous right now where is man behind the scenes is he behind the he's camera? back to work he's not behind the scenes no he's he's <laughs> back to his he's back to his real job right now he, uh, he had to go back to his real job to rest up. That's his vacation oh, okay. so he can come back and actually work. He sends me pictures every night of his feet up on the desk. That oh, boy. He's got a desk job now? I don't think he does. I think, he, no, I, think, <laughs> I think he steals somebody's desk to take a picture to send to me is how it gotcha. goes. I'm not for sure. So, yeah. All right, let's figure out our elevations and we'll yeah. get uh, go get going. I think I'm going. Gone for life. Shh. Yeah. Look what I found. A camera? No. You always find a no, camera. look. Look. Right. It's in its natural habitat, right there. The spoon. You had that in your truck and you brought it in. I did not. Yes, he did. No, I did not. Look. Look, right there. I'm not convinced that was here. Am I hungry for soup? 
You threw it. You did that. You no, threw it over there. The first time I saw you were holding your hand over there by that pin. That thing was built in the 1960s. I stamped that? I don't know. I just made that part up, but it really was here. It. See if it tastes like a 1960s. My stamp. gosh, 1960. <laughs> <laughs> Waco Stainless, China. 16 CR. Well, China was around the 1960s. It was around the 1960s. All right, guys, the sun's actually starting to peak out. Hopefully, we'll end up with a decent day here. Got uh, Matt lined out. We're actually going to let him dig these footers. Good uh, practice for him. Look at him go. It's like we're sitting over the bushes watching you. Yeah. Are you. Are you dirt perfect good? Oh, you're close. It's all that good coaching right there. Yeah. Hey, get in there. Run them joysticks. There's your coaching. <laughs> Like I said, I have. Appreciate it, Mr. DP. I do appreciate it. I'll be back to check on you. I had help lined up today to help Matt. My help fell through, and I've already committed to doing some other stuff. So, uh, luckily, Matt, Matt's a big boy, and uh, he's going to get this done on his own. It may take him a little bit longer, but at least we'll still have forward progress. We get a footer inspection this afternoon. And once we get our footer inspection, hopefully we can uh, pour in the morning. It's kind of the plan, but. Uh, we're off to our next little adventure, which is kind of an oddball goofy one, but uh, don't worry, taking you guys along. So let's uh, hit the road, maybe, there we go, let's hit the road and do it. Totally random, Matt's working right there. This building right here, if you guys go back on my channel, I think it was back in December. This is that large uh, fire, that large factory fire that burnt. We got the video of flames shooting 100 feet in the air on this one. This is the part of the building they were able to save. That section over there has all been uh, demoed and tore down. Port Authority owns it. They use it for uh, warehousing and a few different things. I think there's a dance haven class in there and an archery club or something. But uh, yeah, they were able to repurpose a lot of the building they were able to save. So. Uh, pretty impressive fire. I can't remember the name of the video. Somebody thinks about it, they can link it in the uh, comments and I'll pin it to the top. Or if I can think about it, I'll put it in the description. But no promises on that. All right, guys, the next stop for the day was Calton, Indiana, for our good deed of the day. This is St. Michael's Catholic Church, and one of the parishioners called me. They were having a roof leak issue that they thought might be related to a gutter that's possibly clogged. So he asked if I could swing by with a drone and possibly do a flyover, see if we see anything obvious. It has something to do with that particular downspout right there. I was passing through town, and this wasn't particularly far out of the way for me to do this, so I had no problem stopping by. And uh, just kind of do a quick little flight down the gutter here, and then we'll swoop up and over the church and kind of do a little uh, run down over the roof, just trying to see if we could see anything obvious. Unfortunately, we didn't. You can see some grain in the gutter there uh, from the shingles. The shingles on this roof are about uh, 25 years old from what I've been told, but uh, nothing obvious. I texted him a few pictures that we were able to take from the drone, and then we headed on down the road to the next one. All right, guys, just rolled out of counting, called Matt, checked on him. He seems to be getting along pretty good down there digging the footers. So uh, we're going to head back to Derby and give Captain Kleeman a hand working on the low boy trailer. So uh, off to Derby we roll. All right, sorry about all the papers on the dash, but we are getting ready to roll back into the shop and see what, uh, see what Captain Kleeman's got going on here. Give him a hand with the... A little boy trying to repair, so let's hop inside and see what we got. How's it going? Hey, I'm also making a video on this. A little bit more detailed. I haven't told them why. I was going to say. Actually, so what I said is. That cylinder is bypassing, but we also got new brackets because why not? You know, if you're gonna take it apart, you're gonna take it apart. You ever heard the uh, what's the old saying? I'm trying to think of. There's um, is it's not that there's two sides to every story, but there might be more to the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's your story to tell. I'm not gonna say anything. You're gonna have to tend into Paul Harvey. Right? <laughs> I hate to tell you. Get the rest of the story. Yeah. It is your story to tell, yeah. Captain. And I just don't know if I'm ready to tell it. <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know. If it, hey. you, know you know, if we're going, if we're going time and dollar signs, 
you know, like this is about almost a week and a half repair. <laughs> in a ratio, if we're going, like if you compare what the mirror did to the channel, dollar signs and time compared to what dollar signs and time. Oh, you'd be over a million subscribers oh. if I knew what really happened. Andrew Camarado would be like, that cleaning guy's got it going on. You forgot one crucial step though. You have video of the mirror being broke. Yeah, I you do not. not have video of this incident. How much did you laugh when you watched the video though? When I was like, well, I went downhill from here. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> all right so first off in full disclosure this is um this 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 is our winter project Cleman. you're kind of bumping my schedule up here a little bit <laughs> it's almost it's almost winter all right so last summer last winter i don't know my seasons it's been a long day already uh, I believe it. Yeah. we rebuilt the truck we did all the suspension on the truck yeah this winter uh we got some work to do on the back of this trailer that transport lock down there, it is failing. Where the cylinder mounts to the frame, it is failing. And the bracketry and cylinder that folds this ramp out has been failing. And uh, Clayman finished her off. <laughs> so uh, anyways, we have a new cylinder. We have new brackets. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do that job now. We'll, we'll, we'll let the rest for winter. Hey, you're gonna be ahead. Head schedule. Yeah, thanks, Captain. Thanks, Captain. I do appreciate that. Man. You gonna show the world your attempted fix? Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? It held, didn't it? For the week we had it. Well, it held because we never hooked the cylinder up. <laughs> <laughs> held because we never used it. All right, I'll get back here because so we gotta mark the new one. Oh yeah. That's the whole purpose of this. So this is the bottom. Yeah. You sure? Let's do this. I don't trust you no more. I've seen what you've done to my trailer. Let's do this. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All there right, yeah. Go. So that's bottom. All right, I need to mark the other one now. The needles are so pretty. Oh, uh, that's definitely not right. It is too. No, it's not. Look. Oh, man. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. All right, I don't think those other ones matter. They're just little half moon shaped dillies. <laughs> One of these days, you're gonna have to tell everybody what happened. I'll tell them. <laughs> it's... I'll tell, whenever I do something worse, I'll be like, well, at least it wasn't. <laughs> wasn't what? You almost slipped up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, so first thing we gotta do, what are we gonna call him? Are we gonna call him dog bones? Or it's more like a dog leg. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> just go with it, Captain. <laughs> just go with it. Expensive. Oh, crap. What? Look at that. Right off the get go, we got a problem. The washer is too big. Look at oh, that. my. Well, all we really gotta do is cut a notch in it, right? <laughs> It'll keep the washer from spinning. You don't want your washer spinning. That's how you lose your clothes. <laughs> That's true. All right, let me have it. I'll improvise it. Okay. No, we could do. We could just use the old washers in that spot and then use the new washers elsewhere. Oh yeah. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Now, do you know where the old washers are at? Next to the dryer. <laughs> I think they're over here. One, two. How many did you have? Three? I got four of them. That's what you need, right? I don't even need that many, Yeah, because you need, uh, yeah, you need four of them. You go in between the plate and between yep. the edge? Yeah, because well, I think we'll have to go between the plate because it has to be wide enough to get the cylinder head in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I dropped that. <laughs> You're on a mission. I heard that. Yeah, All right. Take, this. this is like take 57 on fixing this. So you want? Uh, you forgot a couple pieces. Oh yeah, we're gonna need this one. You need your dog leg. Beaver. Then you need a washer. Then you need to go through the hole. Oh, I see what you're doing. And I need another washer. Then you need, well, you need to go through the hole first. Well, but give me the washer. Go through the hole first. Oh, God. Listen, see. Now your dog's not a tripod, so you need her leg. <laughs> Where'd your dog All leg right. go? How'd you lose your dog leg, Captain? <laughs> I don't know. You had it. It's 
good thing you're it's good thing you're time lapsing this. That's not a time lapse. You lost your dog leg. I don't understand what happened here. I mean I can't stand, stand by. A little bit. Okay. Found your dog leg. You know the good thing about working with me? You know that that's not me telling you I broke my leg. <laughs> this is true. Hello? All the GoPros around here is like beep 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 beep. beep. I, I see you. It's picture in picture. <laughs> <laughs> I have a delivery, Captain. Oh, thank you. Oh God. It's a little heavier than the other one. Oh. Oh, this little feller. I like your official safety prop you have there. You like that? That's pretty much foolproof. That is sponsored by Aitken's Logan. <laughs> All right, I don't know. Let me oh, oh, Hoses are on the bottom, right? Yep, hoses are on the bottom. And I don't know how much shimming we need down here. Uh, oh, I do need a washer. Let me make sure these bolts. It does. I already. Captain, you have no faith. I've already checked. Don't knock it in there because then I'll we'll have to get it back out. You're going to get it stuck. Now. Oh, we need to put this bolt back in. You know why? Is that on purpose? You know why we need to put that Oh, because it's got the keeper on it. Yeah. Well, we'll just have to hit it. We'll have to use Neil. <laughs> we'll have to use some Neil Cook patience. <laughs> Neil Cove patience. Guys, I always get his name wrong. All right. You ready, Captain? I'll take the bolt. You take the cylinder. I got the light stuff. That's fair. That is fair. All things considered. This seems to be a common theme oh, here. I got one of these. Got a persuader? You got some got some Neil Kof patience? Neil Kof patience. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> that was a that was a massive fail. I'm not getting that. <laughs> uh, you got there a washer for <laughs> Oh boy, I don't know if you guys seen that or not, but he knocked the washer out of my hand. <laughs> and he went right into the bucket of hydraulic oil. Uh -huh. Oh man. That's all, that's exactly Good news, I got a clean one. I don't remember which way this went. I guess it doesn't matter. It probably doesn't matter. There you go. What you got? Oh, yeah. Special delivery. Um, and you got, uh, you got something going at holder? Uh, yeah. Hold on. That look good. Wait delivery? Oh. What do you think, Maggie? Is you doing it right? Did you eat your breakfast this morning I left for you? Huh? Huh? No. We do have another option, Captain. You ready for this option? You got another clip? Oh, a nut! <laughs> well, that's not gonna fit in there either. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, it just spins on the end. And that's a nylon locking, locking nut, so it's foolproof. I'm not saying it's captain proof. I'm just saying it's foolproof. I was telling him on my channel that for 12 years this trailer's been captain proof, and that's a pretty big statement. <laughs> that is a, yeah. That's a pretty big statement. Uh, I can think of another video where you damaged this trailer, though. Yeah. I still have parts over there in the corner to prove it. <laughs> that's a hard thinking, though. Hold on a second. It involved an 850 dozer. <laughs> That's an accessory to the trailer. No. <laughs> That's an accessory. That is not the actual trailer. Uh, let's not tighten that one up yet. Let's go ahead and get this other side mocked up to make sure everything works before we get too carried away. <laughs> I like that you let me think for myself just long enough to tell me no. <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay, so now we need to, hold on, I need more washers. We'll be back. Okay. okay, so now. Uh -huh. So, so did those go, they went on the inside? They went on the inside. Did, so, we, have, did we have a washer in between? Yeah, we need a washer. Oh, this is where we need a bunch of washers. Yeah, washers. If you drop it, we're gonna be frustrated. Oh. Uh, I got an idea, I'm gonna hold this. Yeah, you hold that. Need that. That holds tight. It's good. Another washer. Yeah. Now we need another washer. Okay, I need another washer. Does that work? Okay. Yeah. Another mm -hmm. washer. Yeah. 
Uh -huh. Rotate the cylinder a little bit. It all came out, didn't it? Need another washer. Here you go. Oh, you got one there? I like your washer. And then I need. How do we end up with three washers there? Oh, there's a plate missing, yeah. Another washer. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're wrong. <laughs> we didn't have any dryers in there. That was a problem. Uh, I think we need to go measure this. I think this is too wide. I may have to cut that compared to that other one. You have a tape measure? Because I have a theory. I'll be back. Like that. So our difference is, is this piece right here on the cylinder is wider because this piece plus this piece needs to equal the width of this piece. We're like an inch difference. Yeah, that's three and three quarter. We're not going to be able to cut that much off of there. Oh yeah, we can. You haven't seen my mad metal skills. It's... All right, here's the adjustment we need to make. See the width of that cylinder, which is about an inch and a quarter. And this one here is about two and a quarter. We need to cut, cut that off right there to uh, narrow that up a little bit. Great work, man. Was your snack good? So Did good. Did you enjoy my Pringles? They were good. They were good. You can't leave food around a shop and expect it not to get eaten. You like your dog. Oh, I'm too tall for this, Captain. I know. I just had a shorter person around. It's not a man behind the scenes joke either. You're doing great. Is that heavy? Looks like it's heavy. I need my patience. You got your patience. Boom. That looks really good. That looks just like it did 10 months ago. Well, that's good because we worked on this end, I guess. <laughs> All right, magnet. All right, Captain, we got this all shimmed up here. We got this all shimmed here. We need six more washers for that. Yep, one, two, three, four, five. Are you kidding me? You know where number six is. You know, it's God, I knew this was going to come back. Wasn't it your fault this went in there? If by my fault you mean I responsibly placed a bucket to catch all the hydraulic fluid. Good news, I found number six. Let me get you a towel. Hold on. God, I could have swore I had an extra one. There's one on the bench over here, actually. You're kidding me. Yeah. That would have been funny, though. Oh, look at that. Is that close? Yeah, pretty close. That's close enough. I can we can wiggle the ramp and get her. All right, there it is, Captain. We got everything in here and shimmed. I think at this point we need to tighten these down to hold our clearances, and then before we hook those hydraulic hoses up, let's take the crane and we'll actuate this ramp and make yeah. sure nothing binds up. And then we'll try it for real. Not for fake, for real. For real. For real. That's good. Well, we'll try it. All right, since I installed everything, why don't you tighten it up? No, go ahead. All right, we got our bolt in up there tight. We're gonna do a test run with the crane here. We still got the hoses all, so everything should be pretty free. on the 
cylinder. Shimmed a little water and see how it's rubbing. It's catching right there. So let's let her back down and we'll trim that up. All right, we're going to have to trim out a little bit right there and right there and notch it on around. Can I at least trust you to do fire duty? Fire watch. It doesn't close. It does close. <laughs> I did move the hydraulic oil for you. Well, you're so kind. <laughs> They put the flammable stuff in the cabinet outside. This one is kind of, important. kind of the purpose. If, if something catches fire, you do have permission to put the camera down and put it out. Oh no, we can't afford to lose views like that. I can't afford to lose a shop. Fire! No fire. <laughs> There we go. Take two. Fire. Okay, listen. Should be okay. Fire! Take, yeah, we're getting less enthusiastic each <laughs> time. Hot fire! There we go. Good, we'll get a good close up. Well, that'll give us plenty of room. I'm trying to figure out how to burn it longer. I think it's my arm hairs. Your arm hairs. This uh, pop down the sleeve. I'm impressed though. Gloves, sleeve, glasses, gloves, and sleeve. It's a jacket, <laughs> that's not a sleeve. Yep, take two. Let's try it. Can't see. Yeah, you got a little bit of room left. Keep going, I guess. How's it on the cylinder? Look okay? Yeah, it don't look bad. Think we got a stroke left yet? Yeah. Hold it. Can't see if that. No, yours. I mean, you're right there, but you're good. Go a little bit more. Right, hold that, hold that. We need to take a little bit. We need to take a torch and just take a little bit out of this corner right here. It's just starting to catch right there at the end. I think we'll be, I think we'll be good. Come down just a little bit. It's the furthest we've made yet. All right, let me trim out a little corner right there. And then we'll see what. my phone ringing so we cut that notched that out there a little bit we are going to pretty this all up and uh go ahead call her. <laughs> secretary we're going to pretty this up uh, this winter whenever we do everything so this should get us by for a month or two we did a test run with it it seemed to uh 
It seemed to work, so we're gonna hook the hoses up and try it with the uh, electronic, no, hydraulic stuff. We're in the middle of YouTube video. Hey, Matt, Matt has a question. Yes. Does he need to leave the laser set up for inspection? No. Is he ready for inspection? Because I'll call. Are you ready for inspection? Because he will call. He says it's dug and it's close and they laughed really hard. All right, I'll tell him I'll call for inspection real quick. Okay, and he said you can take the laser down. Well, the only thing he needs laser set up for is if he's going to put grade pins in. I'll be back to you guys in a minute. Okay. Hello. Mr. Goodson, how are you today? Great. Uh, Mike Simon, we have the habitat footers dug and uh, ready for inspection if you got time. Yeah, I'm sure if you've done them, they're probably going to need inspected. <laughs> <laughs> well, lucky for you, I didn't do them. Matt dug them for me. So. <laughs> So, so I don't have to come down then. Yeah, yeah, you're good to go. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm oh, no, 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 I'm good. Um, yeah. I'm not in town there. Matt just called and said he got them all dug. We're probably going to try to pour them in the morning. So if you got time to run by, let me know what you think. That'd be great. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'm, uh, actually, I'm at home for lunch, but I'm getting ready to leave, and, and I'll run down by there and take a book, and I'm sure that they're going to be fine. So okay. Uh, well, sounds good. I'll tell uh, I'll tell Matt you may be by there. What half an hour, forty five minutes, or forty five minutes yeah, to an hour? Yeah, probably so. Well, Captain, it all comes down to this moment of truth. You know, so, <laughs> you just want to, you just want to assume it works right it now. Is, so you're yeah. not going to try, right? When you put all that work into it. Oh, it works. We don't need to check. It works. Love we, it we, we, we kind of actually do need it to work though, like reality work. Oh, uh, go one way real easy. Yeah. yeah. I think that worked. Go in now. Yeah. You're not quite all the way up. All right, we're gonna try this again. Had to do a little bit of minor adjustment up there. I'm talking minor, it was minor. But, uh, got uh, two cameras. I'm not for sure who I'm talking to, Captain. Don't mind me. It's like, I don't know if they've gone back in the past or, or they've gone to the future, I don't know. <laughs> All right, take two, here we go. Yes, that worked beautifully. All right, see if she'll go back. Take her back. Yep. Oh yes, perfect. A little lock went in there. Bingo. Back in business. All right, trailer is done for now. Captain Cleman's rolling out. Let's hope he don't knock his people off on the uh, trash can. Ooh, that's close. All right, we're gonna jump in the pickup truck, run ahead of him. Now we got the trailer fixed, we need to get the ball ball loaded up and get it out of the job it's on. So it'll be ready to roll for the next job, maybe tomorrow. And uh, then I'll call and check on Matt and see how his footer inspection went. So I need to eat lunch at some point. All right, I got down here to head a captain trying to keep the cows in and make sure he can get in off the road safely. It's kind of a tight little turn coming in here. There is no video coming off this job. We tore down an old barn and hauled off some brush. There's some Facebook and Instagram posts to come off here. You definitely need to uh, follow me on that.
see what's going on. This is a blind hill. He's uh he's good, so we're gonna get him get him coming on in. Hopefully he don't take out the fence or a cow. That's the gate, Captain. <laughs> You're driving. You got it. Poor captain, he's on the struggle bus, but he's uh he's about to get her. He's about to get her whooped. One more. Shut her down, Captain. All right, let's get this girl loaded. I was waiting on him to show up. I went ahead and checked fluids and got her fired up and warming up, so we should be ready to swing around and load here. Hopefully our ramp works good. Whoop, watch out, there's my truck over there. Check that out, ramp's folded out, must have worked, that's good. Loading up. All right, we got the track hill loaded, clean is tied it down. I gotta call Matt back. He's got some questions about the uh, footer depth. We'll get that sorted out. This footer inspection ain't good though. And then we'll roll on out of here. All right, that's it. Now you gotta call me back. So what would you like to say to the people right now and say we never shovel tracks for a movie equipment? Well, they're right. We don't. <laughs> no, that's not no, true. Right. We not, may not get them perfectly spick and span crystal clean, but we get all the big stuff knocked off when we go down the road. You know, my favorite... Oh, sorry. No, you no know, we're still listening. My favorite thing is like, one day you're going to meet your family on the road. I mean, my family, like, every time I drive, I pass them on the road. I mean, I, you know, whatever. So oh, I think I think Captain's been a little bit. I think he's been just a little bit. All right, we are uh, loaded, obviously. Chain, as you can see, Cleveland's cleaning off tracks. Uh, this is going back to the lot, so we're going to roll out of here, head back to the lot, and then figure out which direction we're going from there. All right, Cleveland's getting ready to roll out. We had to back the trailer up a little bit to get loaded on level. I think his drive charge is still on gravel. Hopefully, he comes on out of there. We'll find out. He's up there laughing. That way, Captain. At least his brakes, that always helps. Come on, baby. Come on, there we go. All your way out. Oh, no. I thought about shoveling some rock right there. That didn't go real well, so I'll just use my tow truck. Uh, now Now I'm either gonna get stuck more or I'm gonna get it out. But I think if I back up enough to get my trailer axles up on that hill, I get a little momentum coming out of there. I don't think you will, because then you're gonna be back here in the mud. I mean, you make a good YouTube video, but I ain't got time. This video is probably like an hour long now. And half of it, you wrecked my low boy trailer. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you got it, you don't have it yet. You grab that chain up there and hook it to the front, we'll make this work. I didn't record that part. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> all right, we're all hitched up. Hop back in the truck here. We'll hit the uh, I made a bad decision button. Put her in drive and see what happens. Got it! You're welcome! 
them, I'll send you a tow bill. All right, captain's off to the races. Maybe. I'm gonna have to swing it around, I'm taking out that gate here in a minute. This is just a really awkward driveway to get into. Ooh, that's close. Look, he's got her. He's off. All right, we're gonna close the gates up so the new cows don't get out. On to the next project. All right, rolling back into the lot here. Cleman is parked up. He's done for the day. He's heading to the uh, he's heading to the house. I just talked to Matt, and he's getting along with his footers. He's got about an hour left to work, and uh, I'm gonna probably finally finally eat me some lunch, and then uh, it's kind of late lunch, two thirty six. Then probably head back to the shop. I got about an hour or two I can kill up at the shop on some oddball stuff before I have to head to town for a meeting. So I'm gonna eat lunch, answer a few YouTube comments for the video I posted earlier today, and then uh, let me out of here. I head back to shop. So see you guys at the shop. All right, guys, so I got us some uh, lunch <laughs> at about 2.30. Rolled back into the shop. Everybody's gone for the day. Captain Kleeman took off and uh, Matt's finishing up in town. So we kind of had a little run of a bunch of stuff through the shop here. Uh, let's see, Mac lost a turbo and exhaust manifold gasket. Apologize, no video on that. Uh, the Harley rake, which you guys seen a little bit of in the AMI video, the bearings went out of it. Got that fixed. Um, the brush hog over here, I got a video going on on it. You guys will probably see it after this one. Uh, had a hydraulic leak and had to do some welding. Uh, skid steer needed a little bit of maintenance on this. And then, uh, well, <laughs> Captain Cleaning's little issue with the, uh, with the low boy trailer. So, I got about an hour and a half before I got to be in town. I'm gonna try to get this place cleaned up. And then we're gonna bring the 120 in to try to figure out what's going on with that squeaky boom, that squeaky boom pin. So, let's, uh, let's clean the shop. There it is. The uh, skid steer is out. 120s in. Floor is swept. It's uh, it's nowhere near clean, but uh, at least it's somewhat back organized. It's uh, <laughs> it's workable again. It's just that time of year where it's just go, 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 and it's hard to keep up. It is hard to keep up, and it's part of it. I hate to say it, but you almost kind of look forward to uh, rain days like today, where you can just kind of step back, get caught up on some loose ends, but. I'm out of time for shop cleaning. We got to head to town to a very important meeting, so off we go. Before we hit the road, we'll uh, give the dog give the dog some supper here and hit the road. All right, guys, we just rode in our important meeting for the night. That's right, it is bowling night. Tuesday night is bowling night. Let's go uh, see how bad we can stink up the lanes tonight. What do you say? Eddie, good news. Good news, my friend. Yeah? All is right with the world again. Your average is more than mine. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, you're uh, what, uh, 207, which that should be a 217, bud. We're gonna have to work on that. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah. But uh, I don't have much room to talk because my 201 should be a 210. So. What's up with the fuzzy thing? That's to, that's to keep the wind off so whenever you blow on my camera. There's a lot of wind in here. You know how many people ask that question? There's a lot of wind in here. <laughs> it's it's a universal camera. It's and indoor or outdoor. Indoor or outdoor. <laughs> this, is this is true too. This is true too. You got you gotta tell the world who you are. Oh my god, no. Where are you going? You're I right hate here. that crap. <laughs> so you gotta tell her that's my lovely aunt. That's my Aunt Lisa, and she owns this fine establishment. So if we have any complaints, we take them up with her. Why'd she run from her? She ran from me. Lisa hurt my feelings. I remember driving. That's my, <laughs> that's my windscreen. Your windscreen. Yeah, you can't look behind the camera. Where are you going? I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad you can finally show up the bowl. Yeah, thanks. Now, we need to talk about this average, Dominic. 177. Yeah. I think you can do better, sir. <laughs> Probably won't happen. Oh, now, come on. That's no way to be. It's going to be really bad if you get hung the first frame. <laughs> you going to explain to the YouTube world what getting hung is? <laughs> I think you do. You got a you got a spare. I got a strike. Now if Eddie strikes, you hug. Hey, at least I got a little slap. Oh, bar. oh. oh. <laughs> didn't take long tonight. Wait, what, I tried to explain a hanging. Would you like to explain? Dominic didn't want to well, explain. See, as a team, if all three people get a strike, it's not a hanging. But if one man falls, maybe we need to watch three more frames. Let's do that. <laughs> A washout, I'm pretty sure. Let's see like what's hiding down. behind that blue shirt. Yep, that looks pretty horrible. That's a total mess right there. Gotta give Dominic credit. He's got four going for five. Hope we don't choke. Oh, did he get it? Oh, he almost had it playing down there. 219, good game, bud. How do we do, scorekeeper? Well, I think we got everything. Yes. You got to explain <laughs> what everything is. All the points. We won all three games in total pins. Hell We're yes. We're not going to look at my scores because they're not, they're not that <laughs> yeah. good. What's, what's this? You're kind of hurting yourself You won a 219 here. the first game and a 139 the last? Surprise. <laughs> All right, guys, it's another night of bowling in the books. I didn't bowl that good personally, but team-wise, we did absolutely awesome. And a little uh, Dirt Perfect Insider, my aunt and uncle do on the bowling alley. This is where I worked uh, for almost 20 years, all the way through high school, college, and then a little after. Actually, I started in junior high, high school, college. Then I even worked here a little afterwards. So we are headed back to the uh, shop. We got a few things to uh, tidy up there, and then hopefully, Hopefully, we'll call it a day. So, back to the shop again. All right, guys, just rolled back into the office here at the end of the day. A couple things I want to cover at the end of this video. Uh, one is a question I get asked a lot. It's how I balance YouTube with everything else going on. So, I'm going to share with you guys kind of my routine a little bit. So, uh, usually I film throughout the day. Whenever I get home in the evenings, I will um, upload or download all the footage I got onto my iPad. And then Jenna has a bedtime routine with the kids. Usually takes her about an hour or so to put the kids to bed. So while she's doing that, I will work on editing a video. I can usually get one to one and a half done. And then uh, while we're sleeping, I'll let it upload and I just let it sit on the computer or on YouTube as unlisted. And then on Sundays, usually on Sundays, I'll try to spend half a day on Sunday and I'll actually sit down at my desktop and I'll go through and title and put the description in, put the tags in thumbnail monetize them all that good stuff this uh, this kind of plays into why i have close to 20 videos in reserve it's a couple different reasons one uh, i am never forced or in a hurry to get a video edited or uploaded i can kind of do stuff at my own time on my own pace um i think that also helps me give you guys better content because i'm just not scrambling to film something just to have a video uh, i don't video it unless it's worth videoing it i probably video 60% of what we actually do uh, If that makes sense because I may go I may film every day for a week I may go a week without filming uh, you guys see me work on Sunday I may have to skip two Sundays and get, get caught up on the third Sunday So it just works really well with my flow to have that 
I found that system works really well for me. It gives you guys good consistent content and I'm never in a scramble to get something filmed, edited, uploaded, or posted. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, one other thing, you know, this channel is about excavating, uh, but it's also about being a business owner and kind of my life in general. And that's what the purpose of videos like this is, to kind of see a little bit of the behind the scenes or the inner working of the business or the lifestyle, because it don't matter if you're in the excavating business like me or any business, if you're self-employed, being self-employed is a lifestyle. Uh, just like today, you gotta be willing to work when everybody goes home. You put in the long hours and a lot of times you make the least amount of money. That's probably one of the biggest myths out there is being self-employed automatically means you're uh, rich. Uh, that's not true at all. It just usually means you're the lowest paid guy at the company. <laughs> and uh, you get to deal with all the um, headaches, but you also get uh, all the gratitude and all the accolades that come with being successful. So I've been doing it for about 20 years. Uh, it's been a struggle at times, and it's been really rewarding at times. And it's just, uh, it's in my blood, and it's what I like to do, and uh, I enjoy it. Uh, the other purpose of the video like this is... Uh, a lot of times doing the job is the easiest part of the job. Um, all the maintenance and the inspectors and um, repairs and the phone calls and all that stuff behind the scenes um, takes a lot more time and effort than actually showing up and doing the job. And uh, just kind of, you know, sometimes you get the person that says, well, you're only here for an hour and a half. Why'd you charge me that amount? Well, it's hard to explain to them everything it took to get there. With videos like this, hopefully that helps explain to people uh, there's a lot more involved than just showing up, unloading, doing the job, loading back up and going home. Uh, you know, there's a, there's just, there's a lot to it. And uh, I try to show that the best way I can, best way I know how, and that's through videos like this. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys, but uh, that's gonna be a wrap on this one. I'm gonna finish up a few things here. Um, uh, the, the, like I said, the family's out of town this week, so the schedule's a little bit goofy. I'm going to finish up a few things here at my desk, go in, get a shower, and I uh, wake up tomorrow and do it all over again. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and we shall catch you on the next one.